Hello guys, Anjay here and as you can see I have the OnePlus X over here with me and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install the original Oxygen OS that should be installed on the device which is not right now on the OnePlus X and I have bought this OnePlus X from China and that is the reason why custom Oxygen OS is present on the device and to confirm that uh, as you can see DC share application, clean master, DU battery saver, DU speed booster uh, KK browser or search applications all these applications are not supposed to be on the oxygen OS but still those are present and we do not know what these applications do or uh, if they steal your data or not so to be on the safer side whenever you buy a device from China make sure that you flash the stock ROM on that device and in this video I'm going to show you how to do that on the OnePlus set so yeah let's get started with the video and first of all go into settings then go into about phone then tap on the build number seven times unless and until you see the options that is developer options over here and make sure that oem unlocking is enabled from here enable oem unlocking enable advanced reboot also and enable usb debugging from here enable all these modes so that we can flash twrp recovery and we can do all the crazy stuff that we are going to do right now now let's shift to my pc and as we are currently into the phone, copy the zip file. I'll give the link of this zip file in the description box below in the internal storage of your phone. And this is the Oxygen OS zip file which should be installed on your device but which is not. And this is the latest Oxygen OS that I could find on the internet that is 2.1.3. But if you are watching this video after 2 months or 6 months, make sure that you are downloading the latest zip file and uh, you can download those zip files from xdadevelopers.com. I'll give the link of that also in the description box below so do not worry about that. And once the zip file is copied, we need to boot the device into the fast boot mode. So to do that, hold the power button, uh, long press the power button, select reboot over here, select bootloader, uh, that is fast boot mode, in other words, select OK. And now the device will boot into fast boot mode. So as you can see, we have booted into the fast boot mode successfully. And now we need to open up the command window on our PC. So to do that, hold shift key on your keyboard and uh, at the same time press right click on the mouse so you will see something as open command window here and do not leave the shift button before you see this option so yeah uh, and after we see this if you want to check if the uh, device is connected or not simply write fastboot devices and as you can see it will show up our device that is some random thing it might be different for your device so do not worry just mm, that's quite normal and this is the TWRP recovery which we are going to use and first thing you should do is rename this TWRP recovery to something which does not have spaces in it so for example TWRP is the name uh, okay so I am renaming it to TWRP and now we need to boot into this TWRP recovery and uh, to do that write this command that is fastboot boot twrp.img so after you write this command so now just hit enter and the device should boot into the TWRP recovery anytime soon and now we need to check if the device's bootloader is unlocked or not and to do that simply write fastboot device oem info so after you write and all the commands that i'm going to use in this video will be linked in the description box and all the commands that i'm going to use in this video will be in the description box below also so do not worry about that so as you can see after writing this command we got device unlocked as true so this means that devices bootloader is already unlocked and that is not a good thing and just in case if you see device unlocked as false over here then you can use this command that is fastboot oem unlock and uh, by using this command your devices bootloader will be unlocked and you can follow the steps which i'm going to follow right now after this easily just write this command in your command prompt uh, like this over here write this command and hit enter select yes on your device and make sure that you unlock your bootloader before following the procedure that i'm going to follow right now and if you see device unlocked as true then just no worries you can follow the method that i'm going to show you right now and now we need to boot into the twrp recovery over here so to boot into twrp recovery we are going to use a command that is fastboot boot twrp.img so simply hit enter and now our device should boot into the twrp recovery so as you can see the device has booted into the twrp recovery 
select swipe to allow modifications do not worry about that now go into wipe then go into advanced swipe i'll uh, i'll suggest you to select dalvik cache system data cache or uh, in your case internal storage also if you want to wipe that but we have put the oxygen or zip file into that so do not select that and just select swipe to wipe and once the wipe is completed go back select install and now scroll down to select the oxygen or zip file which we had moved earlier so select that zip file select swipe to confirm flash now the zip file installation will take little bit of time so just sit back and relax uh yes the zip file will get installed and once this is done that is zip file installation is completed select home select reboot and select bootloader over here we'll just relock the bootloader once again so that if we get any type of updates in the future then we can simply install those updates via this so select bootloader now it is asking install super su select do not install over here and uh, as you can see we have booted into the fast boot mode once again and now write a command that is fast boot oem lock and as you can see it says okay finish total time blah 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 so this means the device's bootloader is locked once again and if you want to check if the device's bootloader is locked or not you can once again write this command that is fast boot oem device info and as you can see device unlocked it is false so that means device is not unlocked earlier it was device unlocked true now it is false so this means that in future if any update comes like oxygen os 2.1.4 or uh, 3.0 or 4.0 whatever the update may be you can install that update directly on your phone so i have make sure that you will not have to do anything else after this and just in case if you want to root your device uh, root your one plus x then the guide for that will be linked in the description box below simply follow that guide and you will be able to root your one plus x and now to boot into the system simply write fast boot reboot and the device will boot into the system so just set up your device as you would do on a normal device so i'm just skipping right now i'm just skipping everything right now because i do not want to do anything so yes we have booted successfully into the oxygen os and if we go into about phone oxygen os version is 2.1.3 so that should be a very good thing and we do not have any mysterious applications like clean master or something like that over here everything is stock and everything is very very good and i will suggest you to do this as soon as you get any device from china or uh, oneplus x in this case from china so that you will be on the safer side always So yeah this is it for this video guys and uh, if you have one plus x and if you are still watching then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because many more awesome videos on the one plus x are going to come real soon like how to unbreak your device how to flash custom roms what are custom roms and which are the stable custom roms for the one plus x so yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as i said earlier So yeah thank you guys thank you for watching